it, it really, I really, I don't know if I really thought what it would be like. I, I just, I thought the Lord's going to take it over and wherever it's going to go, it's going to go. And this is amazing. Lord, we thank you for this amazing ministry. We thank you for Pat's life and the work that she did in this community and the legacy that she has left behind and we honor her in this ministry as we have served 25,000 people. Most of all, we honor you, Lord, for the work you have done in each of our lives that calls us to love our neighbors as ourselves. But you just about have to experience it to know how to make it work because for someone to come to me and say, how do you make that work? I don't know that I could sit down and say, this is how I make it work. But the Lord took it and ran with it. We uh, just had some great volunteers that stepped in. And he guided us. And, uh, I know we've had people tell us that it looks like it runs like a finely oiled machine, but <laughs> I can tell you there's some behind the curtains that aren't finely oiled. We have people come from Geneseo to help even work, yeah. and Fenton and Morrison dancers have come here. Lots of people from the area have just fed into this, yeah. literally fed into this, and help work and volunteer, and uh, uh, we fed them too. We've had kids that helped work, we've had teachers that helped work, we have whole churches come from different areas that help work. We have different churches help um, do the desserts and the salads. Yeah. And it's just been a wonderful ministry. Yeah, it's uh, friendship, fellowship, uh, talking to other people. Uh, some of the people that come here maybe not don't visit with anybody for a whole week. Uh, some of it is the amount that the meal would cost them to buy it somewhere it makes a real difference. We kind of find that hard to believe, but we've been told that. And we've been, that's what warms your heart when you have somebody come up to you and tell you how much this means to you. Yeah. Larry often talks about this, how it's much more than a meal. It is, the ministry. I mean, I I'll see people I don't see in my normal day of life, and I get yeah. to talk to people. And it's cool to talk to the kids, some of my students, I, you, know, you know, I'm a teacher in Tampa Elementary School, and my kids come here, and now the middle school and high school kids that I've had, and get to talk to them and see them grow up, and a lot of them are giving back and helping out. To let you know how the Lord enters into this, we had a freezer full of beef that was donated to us. We used the last of that beef one year from the date we got it, and we got a call the next week wondering if we could use some beef. Somebody said, where do you get your money? I'm like, it shows up. It shows up. But sometimes people donate turkeys Thanksgiving time or hams. And I'm not even sure about this meal, where it came from. But probably a lot of this donated. All the desserts were donated from uh, Dave's Coffee Cake. Uh, um, it's just, they just, food just shows up. Uh, I wanted to somehow thank everybody for what they've done, and that's kind of a difficult task, trying to figure out how to thank. Because there's a lot of people that never really see Pat's table. They bring desserts in, they bring salads in, or they cook and then they leave. But a lot of them don't even see Pat's table, so it would be pretty difficult trying to figure out how am I going to thank them. And not miss somebody. So hopefully that billboard, and thanks to the Farmers National Bank, they were obliging enough to help us out with that billboard. We just continue to keep going as long as the Lord provides and people want to keep working and uh, it's amazing. We've been here five years and a couple weeks ago there was two or three new people came in that had had never been a past statement. So that, that's the beauty of it.